Hey crew, welcome back to the old $10 million farm here on our edit of Lone Oak. Oh, we've got some new equipment, guys. We got new equipment inbound. Let's get to work. Pitter patter. Welcome back and good to have you guys in here. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Folks, you know what? We've been uh, setting everything up here. We've got uh, the coffee machines all good to go over there. I got my office all set up so we can buy some more equipment. And we're slowly getting things brought back into the main shop building over here. Slowly getting things brought back over into the shop as we get things set up nicely for ourselves. If you were with us uh, last time, you know that, uh, well, it was a live stream actually. We were trying to get some planting done. And unfortunately, well, we had some issues. It's okay. It worked out for the best because, well, now look what we got our hands on. The new C850 drill and tank. Uh, I think it's a 7, 1170 actually is the drill, but the tank's the 850, 850, of course. Yeah, this was not available actually when we first got started. So now that we have this available, uh, this is perfect for our $10 million farm. We've already brought this down. Uh, of course, as soon as they got it in, I had to have my dibs on it, right? We've got to get my greedy little mitts on this thing. Um, should this be flashing right now? Anyways, guys, I know a bunch of you are asking what map this we're on right now. So yeah, this is an edit of Lone Oak. Guys, this is not a publicly available edit, but it is Lone Oak. So if you want to play along, well, Lone Oak is where you're going to be looking for this map. Um, you know what? Gertie was supposed to take care of a few things for me. If you missed the live stream, uh, she did. we did plant a little bit of, was it canola? We got planted some canola. She's planting a little bit of potatoes for us. We had, you know what? We want to try some potatoes out here. And as well, I needed to clear a field so that, well, we could get that big planting unit out in the field, which we could hopefully take care of today. It's early in the morning. She shed, she, she said, she, she shed, she shed, she shed by the seashores. Um, she said she was going to have them taken care of. So, you know what? Let's go for a little fly and go see if she got everything she told me she was taken care of, shall we? So guys, first off, first field here straight ahead of us. This is ours. I still need to uh, take a look at this, but this is what we planted the other day. This is a haul of our canola. Has been planted on this for this field here this one you know what didn't take us all that long in the grand scheme of things by comparison so let's go scoot on over now this here is where we need to go in next this field right here i got plans to put uh what are we gonna put in here was it corn i thought it was corn but anyways oh there we go let's see gertie oh guys she quit once again typical farm sim worker i'm telling you yeah she's got uh the chisel plow just parked right there did she think i wouldn't notice this part is not done i mean it is early in the morning maybe she planned to come back here and finish this off later on I, I don't know what her plan was i don't quite understand anyways let's um well we can finish this oh, i guess i'll finish this off for her. i need to get in here today my plan is to get in here today and take care of this so let's put this helicopter down like right here and uh we'll see if i can take care of this for her why do I always have to do all the work? Nice and easy, nice and easy. Ah, that's a pretty good spot right here. Nice and open. Perfect. All right, let's go. Uh, we'll jump into the John Deere here and get rid of this, guys. Our only tracked tractor, so uh, the RT. You know what? We don't get a lot of use out of this usually, so I, I don't mind. <laughs> and really, it's not going to take us that much time. I mean, we've got a fairly good-sized chisel plow back here. She's pretty quick. We can just drop that down. And maybe? Oh, oh, oh. Not quite lined up. Not quite lined up. It would have been nice if she would have set the GPS up for me. There we go. Perfect. All right, guys. We'll get this taken care of. Like I said, this shouldn't take us too, too long. Fairly quick jobby job right here. I mean, four passes and we're going to be done this. And uh, you know what? <sighs> I better go check on her other jobs that she was supposed to get done last night. I have a funny feeling she might have, uh, she might have scooted out a little early and taken care of some other personal business instead of help me out. All right, one quick pass left to go. Spin this thing around. Spin so quick. Drop her back down in. Nice. All right. One last quick plug. Get rid of this dead uh, this dead crop that's in here. And hopefully we can get in here today and retake care of this again. Soil samples took came up back pretty good, so it looks like we don't even need to worry about lime in this at all. Then the fertilizer is actually not too bad. The nitrogen that's in this field, so we don't we'll worry about that later. But uh, we're going to fertilize as we go. That planting unit we got, that C850, is a dual tank. So it's got neat nitrogen as well as seed in it. So that should make our lives just a touch easier. All right, let's go park this back next to the heli. And uh, like I said, we got to go check on her other job. You know what? This shouldn't have, like, That literally took me 15 minutes. That's all she had to do left. And she already did most of it. Now now I just got to give, give her a hard time because she didn't do that. All right, guys. Let's let this thing fire up. Let's go back at her again. Best pilot in farm sim there we go 
All right, let's go uh, scoot a little scooch down the valley here over the pond and then down over the valley. Sweet. You know what? I'd like to get some farmland down actually in here. Get some grazing lands maybe for some of our horses. Like, look at this field behind us. We're just kind of flying over. That looks great for some grazing lands for some of our, uh, our equestrian endeavors we may be looking at. Man, that's just, those are big words for me. All right, guys. Jobby job number dos that we had Gertie do. Oh, watch over those trees. That was a little low. It was just off the main drag right here. Let's see here. It should be the field right up against the tree line that we're just kind of flying up into towards. Yeah, right in here. What is going on? This is supposed to be... This is supposed to be all potatoes. This is not a giant field, guys. This is not that big of a job. What? What is she doing? Why is this not done? I got potatoes, looks like, spilt on the field. There's still, like, three more runs to make down here. Ah, <sighs> man. I don't understand. I, I feel like I need to go... Go buzz her, tra her trailer, maybe, and find out what the heck is going on. All right, well, let's drop her down again, guys. We'll uh, we'll put this down. Let's see if I can put it down the field right beside here. Let's not hit the electrical lines. Got a guard barbed wire fence here. I got to watch out for. Nice and slow, nice and slow, nice and slow, and put her down right here. That looks pretty good to me. Nice. All right, turn that off. Let's let's go finish this off. I guess. I mean, come on, just jump jump the fence. Oh, and you ever gotten stuck on a barbed wire fence when you go to jump over top of them? Man, I've ripped a lot of jeans in my day. So guys, this is the potato planter that we did pick up. This is not the biggest unit in the world, that's for sure. It's it's pretty small in the grand scheme of things. The GL32F. Now, I could have went with something a lot bigger, but you know what? I wanted to... We're not, we're not sure if we're going to do potatoes that much. Um, and given the fact that we're spilling stuff everywhere, maybe it's not worth it. Who knows? But we'll see if it's worthwhile. We're gonna. I planted... It's more of a garden, really. You know what? I do like my potatoes. This is like the French fry, fry garden, maybe? The, the clutch French fry... I don't know. Anyways, we got the little John Deere. Let's get to work. Let's plant some potatoes. What is it for you? Is it potatoes? Taters? Pot potatoes? I, I don't know. I, I, I think all of them work for me. I don't think I have a, a special preference for any any of the, the variations on word wordplay on this. Uh, taters? I think a lot of guys like taters. I, I do like taters. I like to eat taters, that's for sure. Let's back this down. Boom. There we go. All right. Taters in the ground, potatoes in, in, in the ground. You know what I mean. Come on. Yeah, I bet you you never thought you'd see me doing taters, did you? Yeah, I know. Me, me neither. This is this is a bit of a shock to my system as well, folks. I'm, I'm not going to lie. Look at this. We've still got uh, we've got some extra potato seeds. Potato seeds. We've got extra potatoes up in the bucket as well to, to refill this with. Um, That's one interesting way of storing extra, extra potatoes with you, I guess. It's a, like a refill instead of having to bring a tender with you. That, that ain't bad. The one thing that we do not have as of yet is a way to harvest potatoes. This is something we haven't got to yet. Now, I'm, I'm not a potato expert. I got to figure out what we're going to buy for that. I really do. Now, we could go big and just and deal with that. Or maybe, maybe it should go with a trailer unit. I, I haven't decided exactly what we're going to do. What do you guys think? Should we go? Should we just go, go, go big or maybe keep it kind of modest as far as our potatoes go i would like to see what these are going to pay out if we get some decent profit off these it might be fun to actually go a little ham on some potatoes did i really just say that just ran out of potatoes that's all right we could it's a good thing we brought them in the bucket i guess you know what that was actually a good little system she had where there just uh a few left in the bucket to, to finish things off and then allows us to uh to keep on planting without having to go back to the shop to refill um is that actually smart I guess that's that's kind of smart, Gertie. I'm, I'm impressed. All right, last go around. Let's lift this on up. Spin this thing around. You know what? This little John Deere can actually handle this fairly well. I, considering it's only a 6R uh, or a 6M, I, I believe, actually, it's um, it's handling it considerably decently. And it's a fairly heavy little unit, but this John Deere's handling that not too bad. All right, well, you know what? It's good to know. But still, I would have liked if Gertie would have taken care of this so I wouldn't have to do this. But, um, hey, whatever. You know what? I'll, I'll give her a few shots, a few ribs, ribbons in, and then uh, maybe next time she won't. Well, she even left all the equipment in the field. That's what kind of irks me. It's just, you know what? It's like half done. At least if she would have got one of these jobs completely done, that would have saved me a little bit of time. But now she's got tractors in both fields she's got to go pick up. I mean, what is this? Looks like we still got lots of spuds left. But that there is all she wrote. Let's lift this up. We'll just leave this right where she left it. Um, you know what? She's probably going to come back out of here and be like, why is this stuff all done? Hopefully she comes back today and, and tries to take care of it. She's going to be a little bit um, confused. I, I don't know if that's that's probably the norm for her, though. Let's be 
Let's be honest. Oh, back over the fence. All right, let's get out of here. Time to go. Jump on in. And three, two, one. Lift off. And off we go. All right, let's head back to the farm. Let's see if we can get that planter set up. And uh, we'll get into a field here. Maybe get a little bit of work done today that I actually had planned instead of having to go back and do all the Gertie stuff over. You know what? Maybe we should, we should buzz Gertie's place. What do you guys think? See if I can get in there. It, it's a little bit of a tight squeeze through these trees. Her place is kind of in shambles, to be honest, guys. I should just knock that place down on her. Oh, boy. No, we're not going that close. There's too many trees. Sorry. There goes Gertie's house right underneath of us. All right. Well, let's go put this down. Right down the helipad here and... Uh, We'll go see if we can maybe get into that field. Oh, ridiculous. This should have been done a long time ago. We should have already been almost done that field. All right, 96R is... Uh, 9560R is still sitting here. Here we got the second one. The other one's sitting back in that field. But that's all right. We'll take the, the, this one here. It's got zero hours on it right now. So let's put a few on it, shall we? You know what? This door is... With these trips on it? She's a little toit. She's a little toit to get through those doors. Let's go hook up. Oh boy, that is quite the setup. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm digging this. Let's go, uh, let's go put some seed in this thing. Now one problem I just realized, it only fills off the one side. So we got to spin this thing around down there somehow. So we got to get that pipe on the far side. Unfortunately, what I do not have yet is any kind of a seed tender. I don't have a seed trailer, any way of transporting seed around our farm other than, well, bringing it here basically and come and fill it up again. That's something we need to buy at some point. So we'll figure that out later on. We should be good today. We don't have any fields that we're doing any long distances on. This is, is still pretty close. Uh, now let's see here. Can I, can I zip around back? I'm going to have to go up around. We'll go up and around the hay shed here and then come on back. Yeah, fortunately, this is not planted or anything yet. So that's what we're doing today. So it doesn't really matter. But maybe that's something we should have considered when we were building this. Is that it would have been nice to have a bit of a turnaround area right in here. So that we didn't have to, to do that rigmarole. Now, did we get our distances at all right? That is another question. We'll drop that on out. Bring this a little bit forward. And uh, hopefully our distance isn't art too, too bad. Start with our seed. Perfect. Seed is inbound. Look at that. These are... Oh, man. These tanks are big. I'm telling you. There is a lot of space for seed in this. We're not going to run out of seed anytime soon. And then the same with the fertilizer. Nice. Actually, this seems like it's filling up a little bit quicker. Uh, a little bit. Anyways, that's good. Perfect. Seed and fertilizer both inbound. That is perfect. Let's wrap that away. Scooch that on back in. And I think we are good to go. All right. So what are we going to plant? That's the question. Since uh, we do need to get some straw for our horses, our horse barns, I need to get something that's well going to give me straw. So I think we're just going to stay with simple old wheat, guys. We're going to do some wheat down on this side over here. We got soybeans behind. No, canola behind me. Sorry. We're going to have wheat over here. I've got to do some corn on one of our other big fields. We got some taters. We've got a mixture of all sorts of stuff going on here. It is what it is, I suppose. All right. You know what? Uh, I'll drive this around. We'll start down on the far side over here, I think. Man, this thing is a behemoth. <laughs> oh, yeah. Not, not bad. This is going to make this uh, a relatively quick plant. This is a small field down here, guys. Wheat. Get in the field. Excellent. All the way over here and then all the way back down. Shouldn't take us too long at all. Man, this is this thing is so good. Uh, nice, nice looking cedar. I'm really happy with this thing. I wish we had had this for years. This is so good. Look at that thing behind me, just trailing behind. It looks so good back there. And oh boy, she's she's struggling. She's struggling, guys. There's there's a bit of a, a hill here. She is definitely struggling up this hill. Look at this. Come on, baby, get up here. Do we need to, do I need a bigger tractor again? Oh, come on. It's a 90, 95. It doesn't get much bigger than this in John Deere world. Come on. You can do it. Come on. Get up the hill. Oh, I can't believe I'm, I'm getting stuck on this hill. I didn't think that was going to happen at all. We're a little close into the woods, but I don't think that's the problem. I think we're far enough away that we should be good. Yeah, we're not hitting any trees. It's just that's how steep this thing is. I got to crank this over to the left a little bit. And we should be okay then, maybe? If I could just get some traction. Oh, even with the triples on this, I'm still losing traction here. Look at those tires just a spinning. Come on, baby. Come on, get up the hill. You know you want to. There we go. Go, go, go. Get, go, go, go. Yes. Yes. All right. Oh, man. I, I'm surprised. Anyways, we got her up, guys. Got her up. 
<laughs> Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. We're going to call it there. We're going to head out. We're going to finish off planting this, but we got most of our fields planted today. Uh, like I said, I want to get some corn planted. That's really the other big thing I want to get planted on one of our bigger fields to start off our $10 million farm. Then we can start worrying about getting some horses into our, our stables there, figure out where we're going to go from there. But this is a decent start right now. I'm pretty happy with this. If you're one of our latest subscribers, well, welcome in. Thank you so much for uh, joining the crew here. Good to have you guys in here. And of course, I'd be remiss if I, uh, I didn't thank our, our members as well. If you're one of our new members, especially, cheers to you guys for all the support. Anyways, guys, we'll call it there. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'm going to keep on planting here for a bit since I can't trust Gertie to do anything, obviously. And we'll catch you next time. From the $10 million farm, this is Glutch. Over and out. Mm -hmm.